Good morning. In this present uh, uh, time of calamity, uh, you may be questioning God's uh, purposes and His promises over your life, and some starting to doubt, uh, you know, his, what He's spoken over over your journey. But I want to remind you that His promises are yes and amen. Uh, God is not bound by any circumstances, but He is bound by His promises, by His word. And I just want to remind you of a couple of them here uh, this morning as you go forward. And uh, they all start with a letter B to help you remember them. So the first one, and my title of the message this morning, my devotional is called Surrendered, Surrounded. And uh, so we're surrounded. First of all, understand that God's behind us. Uh, Isaiah 30 and verse 21 says, When you turn to the right or to the left, your ears will hear a voice behind you saying, This is the way, walk ye in it. In the wilderness, uh, the angel of the Lord was, withdrew from in front of them and went behind them. So in other words, God is telling us, I've got your back. I am behind you. I've got you covered. Not only that, all our sins are behind us. All of our past, all of our failures, you know, they're remembered no more. I want you to remember that God's grace stands between you and your past. Not only that, Paul, Paul said, forgetting what's behind, I press on towards the mark. And we can say, like Jesus said, uh, get behind me, Satan. So understand that for the accuser to get to you, he's got to go through God. It's not going to happen, friends. So he's behind you. And the other way, we're surrounded. He's below us. Isaiah 46 again says, Even to your old age and gray hairs, I am he. I am he who will sustain you. I have made you and I will carry you. Isn't that beautiful? It's like the footprints poem. Uh, not only do I have your back, I've got you. He carries us. He holds us. Rabbi Zacharias, who's no longer with us, uh, in the physical, said this, it's a beautiful saying, he said, like a child who suddenly stops sobbing when he is clasped in the arms of his mother, such will be the grip of heaven upon our souls. Beautiful. The eternal God, Deuteronomy says, is your refuge and underneath are the everlasting arms. And he says in Isaiah, see, I've engraved you on the palm of my hands. He holds us, he carries us. So right there, right, right next to those nail prints, he's engraved your name on his hands. So he carries us, he's below us. And now he's, we're surrounded, he's before us. That's the next step. Psalm 68 and verse 7 says, When you, God, went out before your people, when you marched through the wilderness, David cried out, My God, on whom I rely, who will go before me? David said, you prepare a table for me in the presence of my enemies. God is before us. He is behind us. He is before us. And uh, he prepares a table for us. His presence is closer than the enemy. And uh, the weapon of choice is a fork. There we go. And he's beyond. Now this is the beautiful part. Before us is the next step, but beyond us is the horizon. He, Isaiah 55 says, As the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. You know, they say the edge of the observable universe is about 46 billion light years or something like that. So I'm not sure how far the heavens are above us, but basically what we're doing is we're underestimating God by 46 billion light years. And uh, as we look beyond, he, he says, I, I know the plans in the future. I, I've got your future. Even in exile, they were in a very difficult, they were in a place of quarantine themselves. They were in, separated from their family and their friends. And God declares the best of promises. I've got this, I've got you. I've got the plans and future for you. And so now we're surrounded. We've got us now, how about above? Now I've got to cheat a little bit here. Above, let's just make the B the part of it. What's above? Well, that's an easy one. Psalm 63 and 7 says, Because you are my help, I sing in the shadow of your wings. I've got you covered. And now my favorite one is beneath. Beneath us, between us. That's my favorite. Moses cried out to Benjamin in Deuteronomy 33 and verse 12, Let the beloved of the Lord rest secure in, his, in him, for he shields him all day long. And the one the Lord, the Lord loves rests between his shoulders. Whoa, what a promise. Is Christ in you the hope of glory? Jesus is taking up permanent residence in your life. Isn't that beautiful? So we've got behind, we've got below, we've got before, we've got beyond, we've got above, we've got between, we've got beneath. It's refreshing. It's like that old Western God. I've got you surrounded. Come up with your hands up. So let's just lift our hands up and praise the Lord. He's got us, folks. And he's going to bring us breakthrough as we pray. He's with us always. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Father, we thank you that you are always around us. Lord, and it means that we get to be with you wherever, we, wherever you are, you're with us. And we thank you for that. Thank you for your presence, oh God. In your presence is fullness of joy. Thank you for the victory. Thank you for the turning of the tide. Amen.